Hello students, welcome back. Today, we are going to discuss strategic information systems. Continuous pattern, strategic evaluation and control. Strategic information systems Defined as systems which are designed to bring competitive advantage or have resulted in competitive edge. That is, links information systems with business strategy to create a unique feature or a competitive advantage to organization. This was introduced in 1982 by Charles Weiss. For a system to be considered, it must satisfy two essential criteria. What's that criteria? First one is the system is directly linked to business strategy. The second one is the systems significantly affects organizational effect. Let us see how the system is being exercised in the market. Let us take Zara, a Spanish manufacturer. Zara is in fast fashions, including clothing, accessories, Beauty products, swimsuits, shoes, I think that's it. The Zara is producing a limited products. How it links its information strategy to business strategy. Zara allows its customers to search for their products a minimum of 17 times per year. Since products are limited, customers will buy the products when the new items arrived. The POA system designed by Zara reports every day to head office. The managers report the designers about what they sold, what the customers are expecting, which couldn't found in a organization's product list. With the help of their POS system, the management makes decisions at right time. In this way, strategic information systems strategy of Zara makes Zara as world's largest retailer, apparel retailer. Hope you understood how companies are linking the information systems with business strategy to create a uniqueness to their organizations products or so. Next one is objectives of strategic information systems planning. To improve communication with users, to increase management support, to improve resource requirements forecasting, to determine more opportunities for improving information system provision, to identify new applications which provided a greater return on investment to develop an organizational information system architecture. Finally, to identify strategic information system applications. Business firms are investing a large amount on information systems 
to reach their strategic objectives. With the help of strategic information systems and technological advancements, organizations are taking decisions with the help of information repositories. The developing intimacy between the customers and suppliers. With the help of that information, they are improving organizational efficiency. Ultimately, this total information which is having a link between information systems and business strategy, making the organizations unique in the market. Next one is characteristics of strategic information system. Significantly change business performance, contribute to attaining a strategic goal, fundamentally change the way a company does business the way it comes or the way it deals with customers or suppliers. Yes, strategic information systems are changing the whole businesses vital. With the technical advancements, this information systems and the business strategy making organizations to identify or to forecast the opportunities, potential opportunities existing in the way of customers or grabbing and utilizing in time. In such a way, strategic information systems are changing the whole businesses of firms into effective and efficient. Types of information system. At operational level, transaction processing system. It is used by workers for basic reporting. Management information system is used by managers for operational efficiency. If you see in the middle level management, we have decision support system, which is used by senior managers for making decisions. Finally, the top level executive information system is used by executives for strategic decisions. Strategic information systems is using both the models, competitive forces model and the value chain model. While designing strategic information systems, it is using both this models. Competitive forces model is one which describes the different forces which shapes industry competition. The value chain model describes the activities, whatever needed to create a product or service. The value chain analysis provides or develops a increment in operational efficiency. Let us see how corporates are using this competitive force model and value model for creating the unique operations or uniqueness in their businesses in our next 